My name is Katrin Spranger and I'm from North Germany. I'm originally trained as a goldsmith and then moved into studying jewellery design, studying sculpture, studying metal, um, different disciplines within metal um, and exploring sculpture as well. I always almost like feel like a hybrid. I'm a jeweller but I'm also an artist. This is sort of like my little prison. <laughs> my little booth here. So this is my studio. What's happening here is electroforming. This is a process that I, it's a technique that I use at the moment in my work a lot. I've been teaching that technique as well for many years. I'm just a workaholic, I'd say. Many artists tell us when I was five years old, I already knew I would be a jeweler one day. No, that was not the case. So it took me time to figure out what I want to do. What inspires me most would be, I think, innovation and science fiction also in regards to like yeah thinking of how we would possibly live in the future my first studies i was almost a bit like the geek the outsider that is like doing strange things experimenting with weird materials now i think if you're if you're an artist and if you criticize a lot of things want to provoke you feel anyway a bit like an outsider Environmental issues are definitely something that my work is inspired by and focuses on. I wouldn't consider myself as an activist. I was more interested in how we perceive values, scarcity values. Aquatopia collection is about how we consume water. Like a science fiction idea, we may be living in 200 years ahead. Do we have fresh water just as we do today? Can we take a shower for 10 minutes and be relaxed about it to consume a lot of water. I don't think that will be the case if we, if you look at our, you know, growing population. If you look at the climate change, really imagine how it would feel having no water or very, very, very little water. Sometimes we don't take care until we really have to, until we are forced to be concerned. Electroforming is a principle where you deposit metal, basically from a sheet and that uh, migrates and travels through a solution towards a piece that's naturally not conductive, but that is made conductive through applying conductive paint. So that means the longer my piece is immersed in that solution, in that tank, the thicker, heavier metal deposits I will get. When I started out working with the water theme, it was quite clear to me I didn't, I didn't want to do make jewellery with this project, but I also wanted to make objects rather. Less sort of like decorative, but aim to be like thought provoking. There is always, always like a message hidden. What is that material? How is that made? How is the texture made? When I saw these growth formations, I first thought, oh, they were not plant, but uh, actually because they look like little trees or little plants, I thought, actually that supports the story really, really well. If you think of water, there, if there is no water, there's no growth. They can be performed, they can be of course be used, but it's more like that they have an imaginative function and they do have a real function. Bottle, it's got a stopper. You could potentially drink from it. The audience, the target group that comes to collect will hopefully appreciate seeing those things. I, for example, made a shower funnel. What I was like thinking, would um, if you have got very little water left, you would you would not take a shower as you do, but you would scoop up water and then you could wash you, yourself like this, wash your hair, um, and then that water can be still saved and stored and taken for something else. <laughs> I'm most excited about um, showing this new collection at Collect because I have not been exhibiting it in any sort of like art show or fair. To see how it's all coming together and how people react to my work, that's what I'm looking forward to. And voila, <laughs> now I come back tomorrow.